Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art for this episode of Tips, Tricks, and Techniques, and you guessed it, I'm Mr. Woods. And if you've ever assembled a puzzle, finished it, completed it, and thought, I really, really like that puzzle, but how do I save it? Well, this episode is for you because I'm going to show you, my friends at home, how to save your puzzle and frame your puzzle. So now, let's begin. So the materials that you're going to need is an assembled puzzle, of course, some Mod Podge, and we want to get Puzzle Saver, and I just picked this up at the local store, and a brush. Kind of a medium width is going to be best. You don't want to go too large because you have to get into the cracks and grooves. You don't want to go too small where it's going to take you all day and night to get a thin, even coat. So now. I'm going to put my Mod Podge into a container. And this is a glue. So remember, in between coats, you're going to wait 15 minutes, but you also need to, you know, wash out your brush because while the the uh, Mod Podge is drying, on the puzzle, it's also going to be drawing, drying in your brush as well. So now I'm trying to deliberately get into the grooves to begin with. And I'm just starting in the corner and working my way down. And remember, a thin coat is going to be better than a thick coat. And then take my brush strokes one direction. And depending on how big your puzzle is and how wide the grooves are, that's going to dictate how many times or how many coats that you're going to put on. I've just finished the first coat. You need to let it sit, rest, and dry for at least 15 minutes before starting the second coat. So be patient, but while you're waiting, go ahead and wash out your brush to prevent the glue from drying in the bristles. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, a little over 15 minutes. One thing, you have to have some type of cover paper. And then after 15 minutes, gently lift your puzzle up. Make sure it's not glued down onto that cover paper. And you're ready for the second coat. Now I thinned out my Mod Podge this time with about half a teaspoon of water. Not very much. And I'm going to put a coat right over the top on this one. Um, so I'm just going to mix it around. And again, before or while I was waiting, I did wash out my brush, so it's um, nice and clean. Now I'm going to put the second coat on, and it's going to go on a little bit thinner than the first coat, because the first coat is the one I really wanted to get into the grooves, and I think it did its job. Second coat is just the finisher for me. Now, if you do not have a frame for this, and you're just going to hang the puzzle up just by itself, you want to, you know, wait a good 15 to 30 minutes and flip it over and do, you know, at least two coats on the back side. So I just found out that my puzzle is actually a little too large. So I'm going to put my frame down and you can see that it's slightly, well it's kind of hard to see in this camera, but we have a little bit of an overhang. Let me spin this around right there and a little bit on the bottom as well. And what I'm going to do is I put the frame on top where I like it in, in the top left corner using a pencil. 
I'm going to mark around the frame, just like that. It gives me a line. It's uh, probably a little hard for you to see it, but you get the idea. Break out my straight edge. And my knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ruler down and I want to be on the inside of my line. Now the puzzle's thick so if you are trimming yours down it might be a little difficult to use scissors but if you do go with a, a, a box knife or um, some other type of knife make sure that you're cutting it a little bit at a time use the straight edge as a guide push the blade right up against the edge so I've trimmed up my puzzle and I'm ready to place it into my plastic frame making sure that it's going the correct direction so you don't have to take it out again just place it in there and voila perfect and that's going to make it easier to hang now let's try to put the glass on and when you're using one of these frames be very very careful you want to start down in one corner and try to just snap it into place come on boy there we go all right, voila, bam! So I can't wait to get this up on the wall. If you notice that the wall's blank behind me, doing a little renovation. I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. And uh, it's awesome. I'm so excited that it's done, it's finished. I've got it properly glued down. It's in an awesome frame. And I'm so, you know, excited to get it up on the wall. So just remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.